everybody, welcome back to WalleyeWorkshop.com. Uh, today we're splashing Mike's boat in the water and we thought we'd take you through what we do to go about backing these trailers into the water. You know, a lot of times it's a pro-am format, the tournaments we're fishing, so we have amateurs backer-uppers, you could call them, and we're going to go ahead and show you on how to back a trailer up, very simple. And first what I'm going to get you going here with is I'm going to kind of evaluate the ramp. This ramp to the west here has got a boat in it already, so I'm going to probably pick the one to the east and then also pick a point of interest as far as where to back to. All right, why don't you show us this boat ramp. All right, like I said earlier, there's a boat in the, west, the east side here. I'm going to probably pick the, the uh, west side as far as putting the boat in. And another key thing as far as backing your boat up is take a point of reference. And this sign is going to be my point of reference when I'm up there. I'm going to pick it up in the mirror. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to back a boat up using your mirrors. All right, I just drove past the boat launch. And one key thing to start your backup approach is get your truck and your trailer perfectly straight together. Now I can see my trailer in the mirror, on my right mirror and the left mirror, perfectly straight. Now in one of the mirrors, pick up your reference point back there, which is that sign. And it's on the wrong side of the trailer. So I know I gotta cut the wheel. I gotta push the back of the boat to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the steering wheel the way I want the back of the boat to go. So I'm doing that. Now I'm going to bring it back because I don't want to overcut it. So I'm going to bring it back and push it the back end of the boat this way. So now hopefully in this left mirror I can pick up my reference point. There it is. My truck and boat are pretty squared up right now. So I'm not going to want to oversteer to compensate. So I'm keeping my hand on the bottom of the wheel still. I'm just going to kind of follow it back. I want the back of the boat to go to the right, so I'm turning to pushing the steering wheel that way. So I can see my reference point. And when you're approaching the boat launch, just go slow, you know. you got all day to do it. Just go slow and don't overcompensate with the wheel. I see a lot of people cranking the wheel too hard a lot of the times. Just little turns like this. So I'm pretty square now. I'm going to pick up the, the, uh, d the dock. Now usually the docks are square with the boat launch, so I'm going to try pushing the back end of the boat to the left like this to get squared up with the dock. I'm using my mirrors right now. Coming back. Now I'm going to follow the truck back around. And I see the dock, the boat's square to the dock, backing straight in like this. And right here I'm going to get everything squared up, truck and trailer. And now I'm gonna undo with my bow hook and uh, Scott can uh, launch the boat in the water. All right, there you go. It's pretty simple to back a trailer up. Uh, just follow these easy steps. And the, the biggest thing is just back up slow. Take your time, don't get nervous, don't oversteer. But uh, hopefully this will help you guys out for backing up. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching Walleye Workshop and we'll see you next week.